Hi there, and welcome to English Lessons within Lingua Vancouver. My name is Troy. So today, I'm going to teach you another popular, common, and super useful pattern. Grammar pattern. Today's pattern is called, the more blah 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 blah, the more blah 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 blah. This is an awesome pattern. Uh, have you ever heard this pattern before? You might have. The more you travel, the more you like traveling. Listen again. The more you travel, the more you like traveling. This is so useful because everything in the world has these kinds of relationships. So first, let me begin by introducing. Okay. So the more, the more. The more, the more is a cause and effect pattern. The more you travel, the more you like traveling. So it's kind of cause and effect. A pattern of relationship. And because of that, it's similar like zero conditional. If then, if then. Let's try it. If you travel a lot, then you will like it. If you travel a lot, then you will like it. The more you travel, the more you will like it. It works. Or it is also similar first conditional. If will, if will. If you travel a lot, you will like it. Right? The more you travel, the more you like it. So, um, in addition, sometimes you will say more if the adjective is long, like three or four syllables. But as you probably know, if the adjective is short, like cheap, then you will say er. So you might say er, or you might say more, depending on the adjective. Let's try it. The easier the game, the less you will want to play it. Right? The funner the vacation, the more you will enjoy it. So be aware of that. Um, also, we can use less and fewer. It's not only more and more. It also could be less and less. But today I want to focus primarily on the more the more, because maybe that's the most common one. So the more the more is most common. But we can also say the more the less, or the less the more, and so on. So here you can see the more you travel, the more you like traveling. Or the more the less or the less the more, or even the less the less. But today I wanna to focus on this one, just cause it's kind of first one or basic. But each one of these gives you thinking power. So I really recommend playing around with all of them because if you can use all of them, you might think new creative ideas. Another way to talk about this, this pattern of relationship is to say it's a feedback loop. This is like a feedback loop. In nature, in the universe, things get bigger or things, well, things get better or things can get worse, right? Things can get better or things can get worse. So that's a feedback loop. In our Enlingua book, in the level three book, they talk about a snowball effect. That's the same thing, a snowball. Snowball gets bigger and bigger and bigger. The more you roll the ball, the bigger it gets. So if you're an Enlingua student, you might have seen this in uh, 3A lesson one. All right, so also we can make chains. Look at this, it's like a chain. This pattern is so useful, often you will put chains together. Let's try it. The more you travel, the more you like traveling. The more you like traveling, the more you save money to go traveling. The more you save money, the more possibilities you have. You see, like that. So I recommend putting together chains of them because that's how it works. Don't be surprised when you're watching TV if you can hear three or four of them together, okay? And by the way, as I always say, you should be looking for this and catching it. Just keep your ears open and watch a lot of TV and you will probably hear it a lot. Even in commercials, you can hear it, okay? So let's check some example sentences. I gave you 10 example sentences here. These ones are single and here's like a little combo in here. But let's try step by step. Why don't you read number one? Read number one. And you see the intonation. The longer that you live in a place, the more you get used to it. Remember this intonation. It's really popular and common. Again, the longer that you live in a place, the more you get used to it. Now. Time out. You see this that. 
technically in terms of grammar, you would say that, but we drop it. We just, we don't say it. You could, but we don't, right? The more that you travel, the more you like it, or the more you travel, the more you like it, see? So, try it. I'll say it and you say it. The longer that you live in a place, the more you get used to it. Try it. So, is it true? Great question. Is it true that the longer you live in a place, the more you get used to it? Well, yes, it goes without saying that you get used to it, right? When people come to Vancouver, new and lingua students, it's always the same. The first week, they're kind of nervous. After three weeks, they're starting to make friends. After two months, they can find their way around Vancouver. And after six months in Vancouver, it becomes like a second home. And when students finally leave Vancouver, kind of they feel it's a second home. You know, and it's the same with any city, I think. Okay, let's check number two. Read it. The more money you have, the more money you spend. Try. The more money you have, the more money you spend. The more money you have, the more money you spend. Is that true? Can you imagine? So if you have $500,000, you go crazy shopping. If you have $5 million, you really go crazy. Uh, that might be true. You know, when you have a lot of money, you get new friends, rich friends. And maybe they have like big boats and you're competing who has the biggest boat. I heard there's a true story about that. Some two totally rich guys were competing about who had the biggest boat. So be careful when you get a lot of money. Another one, number three. Check it. Okay, I'll say it, you say it. The more I listen to that song, the more I like it. The more I listen to that song, the more I like it. Is that true? Uh, quite often it's true, not always. I mean, it depends on your musical taste, but don't be surprised if you've experienced that. In my case, I have experienced that. Like you listen to a great song, and at first kind of you like it, but then like two weeks later, oh my God, that's an awesome song. Have you ever experienced that? Okay, so yeah, it is true. Number four. Oh, look at this. Four, five, six is like a combo. Remember, I said chains are super common. Okay, let's check. Please read all of these ones. Okay. Okay, I'll say it and you say it. The more I catch this pattern, the more I understand it. And the more I understand it, the more I use it. And the more I use it, the more I can connect to other people. Hmm. Is that true? The more you catch this pattern, the more you understand it. I think it's true. You hear it, you start to realize how important and how useful it is. And the more you understand it, the more you use it. Well, probably, when you hear something many, many times, it starts to become part of you, and then you can start to use it. And that's what native speakers do. And the more I understand it, the more I use it, the more I use it, the more I can connect to other people. Is that true? I think maybe it is true, because if you're using the English that everybody's using, they will respond to that, you know? Um, everybody is sharing common language, so if you use common language, it's gonna have a good impact, a positive impact. So you can connect. Uh, a shared language. All right. Now, another thing is that, in my experience, patterns are thinking power. Actually, this is thinking power, as I said. So, grammar patterns are actually English logic. So, when you're using patterns, you're using English logic, and that's essential. Okay. Let's try seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, let's check seven. I'll say it and you say it. The better my English, the less I think about it. Try that. So is it true? The better my English, the less I think about it. I think it's true that the higher you go, the more fluency you have, the less you worry about things. However, I recommend that you continue your studies until you're perfect. 
Unfortunately, a lot of people kind of stop learning English or stop fixing their English before they're finished. And then that's a problem because they might understand English, but their speaking might not be correct or accurate. So always keep going. Don't settle for second best. Try to be as native as possible. But it is true, the more, the better your English, the less you think about it, right? And in Lingua, we have level three, four, five students. They can talk and talk and talk about all kinds of things, huge conversations, right? Now, eight, the less it costs, the better. Try it. The less it costs, the better. It's this one, the less it costs, the better. So, is that true? If you buy something, is it really true the less it costs, the better? Well, we like cheaper things, obviously. Everybody likes cheap, cheap lunch, you know, good deals. But be careful, because sometimes when something is cheaply made, you get what you pay for. Um, like if you buy really cheap food, maybe it has a lot of salt products or chemicals in it. Or if you buy like a cheap plastic cup, there might be weird chemicals like bisphenol or something that can cause cancer. So not necessarily, you know, watch out, you get what you pay for. And the less you practice speaking, the less you develop fluency. Try it. It's this one. The less you practice speaking, the less you develop fluency. Is that true? Unfortunately, I think it is. We experience many students coming from other countries who have been studying grammar for years and they just can't speak because in some schools they only do little exercises or memorize grammar rules but there's no discussion. And also your opinion is really important. You need to be sharing your opinion and, and saying personal things and sharing your emotions. Then you can improve. So unfortunately, yeah, the less you practice speaking, the less you develop fluency. If you study English in a good way, you can learn everything in a short time, like even six months. But if you study in a not so good way, you can study for six years and not really be able to talk at all, which is a kind of terrible problem. Next, number nine, no, number 10. The more, the merrier. The more, the merrier. Try it. The more, the merrier. It, well, it means the more people who come to the party, the better the party, right? It's a common expression in Canada. Come on, you're welcome to come. The more the merrier. You know, if you have a party with 10 people, but everybody brings a friend, you have 20 people, that's a better party. In general, that's true. However, if you have a one bedroom apartment with 200 people in it, that might not be merrier. There might be fights and the police might come, you know, so anyways. So, same as in the other videos, my advice is say it, write it, any kind of examples, any of these examples, and especially catch it, catch it, catch it. So always you should be watching TV, commercials, reading articles, watching documentaries, and just listening to native speakers because everybody will use it. So just keep your ears open. It's like a game. Okay. Now, I'm going to give you some practice topics so that you can try to practice your thinking using the more the more. So, can you make a sentence about nice weather or bad weather using the more the more? Well, how can you talk about nice weather? Maybe the nicer the weather, the more people will go outside. The worse the weather, the fewer people will go outside, right? common sense. The nicer the weather, the more people go to the beach. And the worse the weather, the fewer people go. Right? Because people is uncountable. Less, sorry, people are countable. Fewer and, or you can be less for uncountable. Alright, so what about a powerful car? A powerful car, a Ferrari. Or a super powerful car, a Lamborghini. Can you say something about the more the more using a powerful car? What happens if somebody gets a Lamborghini? Well, the more powerful the car, the faster people drive, right? And that's kind of dangerous. People think they want to buy a fast car, but you need to know what you're doing. I had one friend, he bought a super powerful Mustang, but it was like too powerful and he was scared of driving. It was just jumping all the time. Um, so you could say the more powerful the car, the more education you need or the more driver training you need. You know, 
or the more knowledge you need. What about a cheap product? What can you say about a cheap product? The cheaper the product, the cheaper the product, maybe you said the better, the cheaper the product, the better. But as we discussed, not always. Like, be careful, some products are low quality. What about a difficult video game or an easy video game? How can you use this to talk about a difficult video game? Try it. The more difficult the video game, the, the more difficult the video game. Well, the more difficult the video game, the more frustrated somebody might become, right? You try and play some game and it's impossible and you can never beat the boss and you try again. How many times will somebody try? Not 100 times. So a video game cannot be crazy difficult, but there are some. What about a super easy game? Is that fun? Have you ever played a game that's totally easy? That's not fun either, right? The easier the game, eh, the less fun it is. Okay, so people who make games need to find the, the sweet spot of difficulty. A couple more. Here's a little bit more advanced topic. Low interest rates, like bank interest rates. Right now in Canada, the interest rates are really low. So it's easy to get money from the bank, and that means it's easy to buy things. So what can you say? The lower the, lower the interest rates, the more people will buy a house. The lower the interest rates, the more people will go out and buy an apartment or a house. And that's not exactly a good thing. Um, not everybody is in a position to buy a house. You know, you, you shouldn't overextend yourself. So this is, Canadian economists are a little bit worried about that. The lower the interest rates, the more people go shopping, kind of. But the more people buy houses at a cheap price, the more danger there is both for those people and the economy in general. And that can lead to an economic crash, you see? Okay, let's go back and do an easy one. Popular place. What can you say? The more, the more. The more popular the place, what? Think about it. Hawaii is popular. The more popular the place, maybe you said, the more popular the place, the more people will go there. But the more people go there, the more expensive it will be. And uh, Hawaii is pretty expensive, I heard. Vancouver is quite expensive. Vancouver is popular and expensive. Let's try one more time. The more popular the place, the more expensive it will be. See? Okay. Now, finally, I'd like you to remember, maybe you've seen my other videos, look at these things in terms of when it comes to. The reality of the situation is that. The bottom line is that at the end of the day. I recommend that you juggle, use combos, really. That's when the magic can happen. You have these cool patterns and you start to juggle them. And uh, it becomes very natural, like a, like a boxer. So. Can you take these ones and combine them with that? Probably you can. In terms of blah, 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 the more, the more. See? In terms of blah, 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 the more, the more. Or when it comes to blah, 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 the more, the more. It's so easy to combine that. The reality of the situation is that the more you practice speaking, the more you develop your fluency. The bottom line is that the longer you live in Canada, the more English you will hear. At the end of the day, the more you practice speaking, the faster you improve. Okay, so in conclusion, finally, I just want to show you this one I created. It's a combination. Look at this. We have when it comes to, we have the reality of the situation is that, and we have the more, the more. Can you read it? Try it. Okay, I'll read it. When it comes to speaking English, the reality of the situation is that the more you can juggle key patterns, the better. Okay, I say it, you say it. When it comes to speaking English, the reality of the situation is that the more you can juggle key patterns, the better. See? Um, native speakers will do this. 
You know, we have these powerful tools and it's easy to make these combinations. So that's it for today. I'm happy to have introduced this to you. It's a really exciting piece of English because it's everywhere. It's powerful. If you can use this, your English is going to jump. Okay. So thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and I'll see you next time.